Hey all, welcome back to the channel with another video. Today we got a practical and useful guide on how to diagnose and fix the dashboard warning lights on your BMW R1150RT. This guide will also apply to the R850 and the R1100RT. This diagnosis is something you can easily do at home, so let's get into it. This bike already has the ABS renewed and is working correctly, so this will not be the issue here. So, to find out the reason for the warning light to turn on, we will reach out to the user manual first, as it may provide us with more information. Here is what we can read in the ABS fault table in the manual of BMW. When the general warning light is on, but the ABS warning light is off, there will be a tail light and or a brake light defective. But of course, before we are going to check the tail lights, it's time for a coffee and um, give our cat a little bit of attention. So after a good coffee, it's time to get to work. The first thing we need to do to access the tail light is actually to unlock and remove the seat. So in this case, the bike is installed with an alarm and the modules of the alarm are right in front of where we have to unscrew the tail light. So we have to remove them as well. To unmount the first alarm module, we have to use a 10 mm wrench. The good thing is here, you can easily slide them out once they are loose. And on the left side of the bike, we do exactly the same with the other module. And this is a 7mm. So the tail light unit is fixed with two screws and they are positioned right here. Um, it's just two wheels you can unscrew and then the unit uh, can be removed. So when we unmounted the tail light unit, we focus on the center two bulbs. Uh, we will take them out and then we will test them if they're working correctly. So one of the fittings seems to be broken and it's fixed with this uh, quick fix. So I use my scissors to uh, just cut it open. And as you see, I'm not a star with filming and fixing my bike at the same time. So here we already see that the bulb is grayed out, so it's already a bit suspicious, but we will test it out later.
So to test both of the bulbs, we just simply push the brake lever and then we see if they both uh, light up. And clearly the small one isn't. After replacing the faulty bulb, we remount the unit into the fairings. And reinstall the alarm modules. and put the body seat back in its place. So as a last step, we do another check on the warning light. And now the warning light is turned off again. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it was very useful to you and if you like to see some future videos of me then consider subscribing and see you in the next video.